All right, guys, it is a new season of Operation Sirens for the Meta stuff. And we got our third selection as of like 12 hours ago. Um, Helena Meta. We can call her Melina. You can call her Helmet. I personally like Helmet because um, I think someone on my Discord was like, let's call her Helmet because the first three letters of Hell of Helena and the first three letters of Meta. So, helmet, that's kind of good. So, I'm going to call her helmet because it sounds kind of funny and I like it. So, I'm going to go with that. Anyways, um, let's talk about Helena Meta. Now, obviously, I don't like judging a ship before I have them. And there was. So, we're going to talk about her as an individual. And then, I'll talk about what the regular one does better. And what the new newer one does better in the in the mix up and whatnot. So, uh, let's get started. So obviously I don't have her as of right now, but we'll pull up the screenshot in terms of her stats, and we'll talk about that as of right now. So um, ignore the background. I'll pull this up probably later on or whatever. We'll talk about that once I talk about like compositions and whatnot, how to fit her in. But let's talk about the new Helena. Right. So, um. First thing I have is let's talk about the stats. So now compared to the regular one, I have both pulled up. So I'm scroll like right here. We have both stats, right? Now off the bat, obviously the newer one has better stats for the most part. Um, better health, better reload, lower firepower, and that's interesting. Uh, more evasion, more speed, more anti-air. Costs 14 oil. I think as of right now, she's the most expensive um, light cruiser in the game at 14 oil. That's more than um. That's more than like most heavy cruisers, and that's low. That's like on the verge of like lower end uh, battleship prices for oil. That is disgusting. That's a lot of oil. I think she's like mo worth more than um. Uh, the other meta ships or whatever. I could be wrong, but 14 oil for a light cruiser, that is very expensive. Very very expensive. Now for uh, accuracy, whatever hit lower than regular Helena, and but a lot more ASW, a lot more ASW. That's very very cool. Now efficiency. Just because her other stats are really really good doesn't mean the gun stuff is good. Now I said before, firepower is lower compared to regular Helena, and the efficiency is also lower than the regular Helena. Even though this one's supposedly built around uh, doing damage, well I'll talk about that later. Lower efficiency and lower firepower. That is very interesting. And DD efficiency about the same. And a lot lower on anti-air efficiency by 15%. Even though she has more anti-air. Which is I thought was weird. But yeah. So in terms of stats, they're not bad. About the same as regular Helena. So there's that. But <laughs> four more oil. That's the, uh, that's the big one right there. Just four more oil <laughs> for the cheap people out there like me. Now, let's talk about the skills. The big takeaways from Helmet. Let's talk about the skills. The first one. I think this is probably like one of the biggest ones right here. Every 20 seconds, fire a level... Let's talk. Say, let's pretend it's level 10. Fires a level 10 special barrage with a 30% chance to increase damage taken by enemies. Hit by 10% for 5 seconds. Now, 30% is very, very low very very low but I'm gonna assume that this barrage has multiple hits and it probably does have multiple hits so let's say it fires probably five there's a good chance at least one of those are gonna hit now obviously it's RNG is not always gonna hit uh, some some scenarios you're gonna miss every single proc and it happens but let's give it the benefit of the doubt and let's say this is basically almost guaranteed to hit so you have a free 10% um, debuff on the enemy 10% debuff on the enemy that lasts for five seconds now this right here I don't like five seconds is a very very small 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 interval very very small small interval now this is basically like a frame for like um, three salvos and then you're out it's, it's like a very very tight window five seconds you, there's not much rooms to play with when it comes to five seconds so you have to be very, very, very careful with this. And unless there's an indication of when the enemies get hit and they have the debuff on them, I think there probably will be, 
you have to fire right away. You have to airstrike. You have to do all that stuff right away because the window of five seconds is very tiny compared to regular Helena's. Her window is about 10 seconds right there. So you have a much bigger window with regular Helena versus um, helmet. It's very, very tiny. So it's about double the duration or half the duration of regular Helena's debuff. Got to be very, very careful about this. Very, very careful about that. And when this is, has equip, uh, has equipment of a USS sh whatever, so like say the, uh, I don't know, you're probably not going to use SG radar. You're going to use the uh, that thing that miss lets you survive 1 HP. Let's see you use that thing. Fires every 15 seconds instead. So let's do some calculations. If you're going for a stacking team for Vanguard, so say like Rune Moose, Helena, and Helmet. Now, Rune Moose and Helena Meta can work very, very well together. And what I mean by this is, now look at this right here. Now, her window is six seconds as well. Her windows is really tiny with six, uh, six seconds and what you want to call it. Every 15 seconds at the start of the battle. So, if you're using a USS equipment on Helena Meta or Helmet, it lines up extremely, extremely well. So if you're trying to go for some sort of like debuff team or whatnot, Rune Moose and Helmet are basically two peas in the pot. Peanut butter and jelly. Right, uh, white on rice, stuff like that. They work very, very well together because both their barrages are at 15 seconds. And not only that, their windows of debuff is 5 seconds and 6 seconds. Basically neck for neck very very close so if you're going to do any sort of like uh, helmet setup or rude moose setup definitely use both of those together now the thing is it is very very hard to work with regular helena because only her first scan is at 16 seconds after that is back to 20 seconds for the whole fight so there's going to be a lot of desyncs when it comes to using a regular helena but um you can use uh, Rune Moose instead, but Helena, regular Helena is kind of off for the sinks or whatever. Now, you can, however, not use a USS gear, but like I said before, the window is 5 seconds versus the window of 10 seconds. It's going to be, there's a bigger gap in between, so you have to be very, very careful about that. You can still use it, and if you were to use Helena, Meta, and Helena, I would stick to manual because to, it is very hard to get both of them lined up. And depending on what kind of gear you use, if you're using like fast like battleships and whatnot, most people want to use radars on Helena to make sure you're lined up and you're getting the most um, out of those shells or whatever with the scans. Because uh, some of the best guns out there are very, very fast. And not to mention, we have high-performance control radars nowadays, which lowers the first salvo by 15 seconds. So there's that. A lot of people, well, not a lot of people, well, some people like to run radar scans or SG radars to make sure they get that 16 seconds in. So very, very rarely would you not run that, and your radar scans are 20 seconds. So you have to keep that in mind. But as I said before, you don't have to put Helena and Hela Meta together. You can put Helena Meta with Rune Moose, and they're going to work probably very, very well together. Very, very well. Now, if you're doing like an ultimate boss stacking setup like Helena, Rune Moose and stuff, depending on which, if you're going for like super, super high scores, you want to use Helena Meta to begin with. You'll probably be using like um, Kashino because way more reliable at 100% with the firepower thingy. And... You can use Cleveland as well. Now, obviously, Cleveland is very, very RNG, like very, very, very RNG, but you can do that instead. So there's that. So first skill is not bad. It works very well with Rune Moves, but it's going to be kind of hard to work with the regular Helena if she has the uh, SG radar equipped onto her. But if you don't, though, you can still work with her, but her window of debuff is about five seconds. So keep that in mind. Now, second, increased firepower accuracy. Um, not bad. Self buffs are always good, and every 15 seconds, 100% in spawn a battlefield that speeds the zone of enemies to zero for three seconds. Now, I'm not sure how big this is. 
I'm gonna assume it's like Peter Strasser's here in terms of the moment she procs this, everything on the field gets slowed down or like s stops. I'm not a big fan of Peter Strasser's uh, stop. Now, obviously, I can play around with it to an extent, but it gets annoying um, on manual. If you're on auto battle, it shouldn't matter that much. And I think most people in this game plays on um, plays on auto battle, so it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But it is kind of annoying, the full-on stop. Now, it makes hitting things a lot easier, but if you're on auto battle, it shouldn't matter because you're not paying attention, right? So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, it's not bad. The first part of, the, uh, of this skill is very good. The second one can be good depending on how it's used and depending on the setups you're using, using as well. Uh, but you can definitely play, play around with it because every 15 seconds. So if you're using a USS equipment on Hell and the Meta, you get a full on stop every 15 seconds and you have Rune Moose also has to hit a barrage as well for 100% chance to uh, take damage by 10%. So it works very, very well here. Now, getting gear that lines up for every 15 seconds is the hard part. You gotta use like very, very fast guns and whatnot. But if you play around like buffs and whatnot that works every uh, 15 seconds, this could very, very work. This could work. But again, it has the, the 15 second interval is very, very hard to play with. And the 15 second of debuffs is hard to play around with as well. Now, third skill. Increases the damage uh, dealt to light armor shifts by 15%. At first, I thought this skill was for all enemy light armors take 15% uh, percent by all ships on your fleet. That would be so, so good. I would slot her into my, um, my HG set for my boss fleet. Because that is super, super good. But at last, this buff is just for her. So, kind of disappointed. But at the same time, if it was for all light armor enemies, for all ships, that'd be kind of broken as well. So, this is very, very good for her. Uh, and when Story with Helena decreases the ship, uh, the damage by the, uh, taken on the ship by 18%, this is negligible. Honestly, I don't think this is even that good. Because damage reduction in this game nowadays is like kind of, kind of whatever. Because it's all about blowing up the ships very, very fast. Um, at super, super end game. Um, I think she has high evasion already with her second, uh, not second skill. Well, part of the third skill and 95 evasion right here. So, I don't think it's that, that good. This part right here. But the second one is pretty good though. When Sword without Helena increases the ship's evasion by 15%. And decreases the damage taken by the frontmost ship by 5%. So it works similar to like San Francisco's kit. Or um, who's that other ship that has this kind of a buff? There's another ship. I forgot who it was though. Um, Bremerton? I don't even know anymore. But something like that. San Francisco is one of them. Um, this is very good. 15% evasion. Puts her on par with regular Helena. Because she has a 10% evasion. And lower evasion compared to Helena Meta. So 5% less compared to the newer one. Makes her very, very dodgy. And then decreased damage by the frontmost ship by 5%. This is kind of whatever. Again, damage reduction, I'm not a big fan of in this game. So, I mean, it's free damage reduction for whatever you're using. So let's say you're using like Azuma, um, Rune, Rune Moose if you want to. Makes it slightly durable. So free durability, can't complain about that. The skill is not bad. It's more self-steroids combined with the first skill. And then we have damage reductions all around. Now, if I were to give an honest opinion about this, I would not pair Helena Meta with Helena because I like this. But with proper fleet setup, you can definitely line up the, the debuffs way better um, with Helena. But I wouldn't, though. If I were to use Helena Meta, I'd put her, I'd put her with like Rune Moose or something. It works way, way better. And then, obviously, we have the regular um, Ashen buff. Uh, increased Vanguard's damage dealt by 5%. So free damage to Vanguard's by 5%. That's solid. So, Helena Meta is a very solid ship to slot into Vanguard's. Now, obviously, it's not like the core core setup for bossing and whatnot. Like, if I were to give an honest, honest opinion about this, I wouldn't put her into my main boss fleet. Like, I wouldn't take her to... um. Um, Gion, I want to replace Gion, I want to replace regular Helena, I want to replace Azuma as well either because I need a beefy, beefy ship 
So I want to place her there. Uh, can she be good for mobbing? I can definitely see her being very, very good for mobbing. She has a lot of self steroids with the 15% damage to light armor and the 15% firepower and accuracy. So that's very, very solid. She has a, I'm assuming it's a good barrage for damage. So we have that going on as well. And the 15 uh, 15 seconds slow. Now, if you're, this is a mob fleet, you're probably not going to play on manual. So you shouldn't be super, super concerned about this. But this is very, very solid. Now, for mob fleet, you wouldn't run rune moves. I don't think most people nowadays run rune moves for mob fleet. But Helena Meta works very, very well with rune moves. So you have to keep that in mind. She could probably be in a side boss fleet. That's where I would put her personally. I would put her in my HE setup. She could probably fit there because it's not your main setup, but it's part of another setup that's also beneficial to have. So Rune Moose, Helena Meta, and like my HE setup would be very, very good there. Uh, but you can use her into a mob fleet. I would personally slot her into a side boss fleet for OS. Um, campaign, all that stuff wise. Very, hmm, I say she could be pretty good in like campaign as well, like World 13 why not? If for people that haven't done World 13 yet, she could be a solid ship there. In terms of meta fights, I know that the new boss is very, very fast, so she could probably fit in there as well too. But again, playing around this 5 seconds of debuffs, as well as every 15 seconds there's a the enemy stops and if you're not paying attention to the timer if you're playing on manual this might screw you up so you gotta keep that in mind uh but i do say though not a bad ship compared to the last ship arc meta which I, I was not a big fan of at all after testing her quite a bit i did not like arc meta at all helena meta is very very solid now obviously compared to the regular helena they both serve different things. Hel regular Helena being a full-on bosser with this enormous, enormous debuff, which is very, very good. Well, yeah, with this skill right here. <laughs> well, the retrofitted version, but a very, very powerful debuff. But she serves as a non-overlapping debuff because this right here, Shadow Wing Touch, does, not sta uh, does, does stack with Radar Scan. And she has a little bit, little bit of self steroids, so much more reliable. Now, not as impactful as Helena, the regular one, but still not a bad ship overall. Um, compared to most meta ships, um, she's definitely one of the better ones. Um, but by no means is she like a game breaking uh, ship in this game. Just a very, very solid ship you can slot into your vanguards. Because uh, I know a lot of people in this game lack some strong vanguards. She is a very, very solid choice. Now, do pay attention that she costs 14 oil, so this is basically battleship tier in terms of pricing and a high-end uh, heavy cruisers as well. But aside from that, though, good design, not a bad ship for kit-wise, a lot of free damage, a lot of self-steroids, a solid, solid ship, and some damage reduction as well, too. So you're packing, she packs a little bit of everything, a little bit of damage reduction, a little bit of self-steroids. A little bit of damage amplifiers to your ships and whatnot. Can't go wrong with that. A very, very solid ship. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next video.